So one of the new exciting technologies that you're hearing about is ultra high definition television. And in particular, this day it's 4K ultra high definition television. There's so many things you've heard about, more pixels, more frames, uh, more color space and dynamic range. But all those things need to be pushed into place and standardized. The industry driven by the consumer part is only focusing on resolution. Whilst we know that a resolution increase only gives you a benefit at the viewing distance up to 3H. This is not enough. This is clearly not enough. We seek for a big delta of improvement. And this includes four other parameters. Higher dynamic range, first of all. Higher frame rates. Wider color space. And then to concentrate on the question of resolutions. One thing we have to do currently is make sure that the consumer industry doesn't actually go too early into the marketplace because they could deliver too little too quickly. We've been doing practical experiments with football and we know we've got more pixels, we know we've got a higher frame rate. Um, all of those are leading to benefits. We want to try higher frame rates again to see if 100 hertz actually delivers benefit, but also those added elements which we haven't really been able to deliver yet. The screens like you see behind me can't really deliver enhanced dynamic range or delivering everything from the darkest shadow right into the bright sunlight. So we want to start working to see if we can capture those elements to be able to deliver them to the screen as and when the screens make them available. As far as it is the SMPTE standards and ultra high definition is concerned, uh, the situation is quite clear. The standards work has a target range in terms of timeline for three, five, six, seven years. Now SMPTE is obviously the ideal opportunity. It started, the working group has actually delivered its first report, which is well worth the read. Um, that details a lot of the things we're actually looking into. With ultra high definition, it's a much more immersive television viewing experience and in order to have that you need these other factors. There is no doubt that the deployment of UHD TV is a very long-term activity. And it really showed people the wow factor that you get with this and there's nothing you really have to do. The pictures sell itself.